हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रश्मि सिंह वेलकम टू माय चैनल अनरैवलिंग साइंस सॉल्यूशंस फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी क्लास टेन चैप्टर एलेवन पार्ट टू बैक एक्सरसाइजेस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन अ पीस ऑफ वायर ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस आर इज कट इनटू फाइव इक्वल पार्ट्स These parts are then connected in parallel. If the equivalent resistance of this combination is R dash, then the ratio of R upon R dash is one by twenty five, one by five, five or twenty five. Answer is since the resistance is cut into five equal parts, resistance of each part is R by five. As the resistance is connected in parallel, so one by R dash. Putting the values, we get twenty five by R. so r upon r dash will be 25 so answer number d option is the correct 25 second is which of the following does not represent electric power in a circuit i square r i r square v i v square upon r we know that p is equals to v i also v is equals to i r according to ohm's law So substituting values, P will be I square R. So the first one is not the answer. Similarly, I is equals to V I. Substituting the values, we get P is equals to V square upon R. So the left is I R square. This is not represent electric power. Third is electric bulb is rated two twenty volts and hundred watts when it is operated on hundred and ten V. The power consumed will be hundred watts, seventy five watts, fifty watts, or twenty five watts. Answer is uh, energy consumed is equals to P is, e is equals to V I or V square upon R. So R will be V square upon P. Substituting the values, we get resistance four eighty four ohms. Even if the voltage is reduced, resistance remains the same. So the power consumed will be. P is equals to V square upon R. Again, putting the values, we get power is equals to twenty five watts. So the D option is correct. Fourth, two conducting wires of same material and of equal length and equal diameters are first connected in series and then in parallel in a circuit. Across the same potential difference, the ratio of heat produced in series and parallel combination would be one is to two, two is to one, one is to four, or four is to one. Now let R S and R P the equivalent resistance of wire one connected in series and parallel respectively. For same potential difference V, the ratio of heat produced in the circuit is H S upon H P. So we know that H is equals to V square upon R into T. So we get the ratio R P upon R S. We know that in series R S will be two R R plus R, and in parallel connection R will be R P will be R upon two. So the ratio of heat produced in series and parallel would be putting in the values we get one is to four. So option C is correct. How is the voltmeter connected in circuit to measure the potential difference between two points? Answer is to measure the voltage between any two points, the voltmeter should be connected in parallel between the two points. Sixth, a copper wire with a diameter 0.5 mm and resistivity 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter. What is the length of the wire to make its resistance 10 ohm? and how much does the resistance change if the diameter is doubled answer is the resistance of copper wire will be given as r is equals to rho l upon a where l is the length of the wire a is the area of cross section of wire and the rho is the resistivity of the wire area of cross section of the wire can be calculated as R A is equals to pi R square, so R is diameter upon two. So substituting the values, we get L is equals to R A upon rho. 
so length will be 122.72 meters if the diameter is double then the new diameter will now be 1 mm therefore the resistance will now be putting in the values in the formula we get r is equals to 2.5 ohm 7 the values of current i flowing in the given resistor for corresponding values of potential difference v across the resistors are given below you can see in the chart plot a graph between v and i and calculate resistance of that resistor now the plot between voltage and current is known as iv characteristic and the current is plotted in y axis and voltage in x axis you can see the graph here the slope of line gives the value of resistance r so the slope is 1 by r that is bc upon ac that is r is, is equals to 6.8 upon 2 that is resistance of the resistor is 3.4 ohms eighth when a 12 voltage battery is connected across an unknown resistor there is a current of 2.5 milliampere in the current so in the circuit find the value of resistance of resistor so the resistance of the resistor is given by ohm's law that is v is equals to i r so r is equals to v upon i we know v is 12 v and i is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 so putting in the values we get resistance 4.8 kilo ohm ninth a battery of 9 volts is connected in series and resistors 0 0.2, 3, 0 0.5, 4, 0.5 and 12 respectively how much current will flow through 12 ohm resistor now there is no division of current in series arrangement so the current flowing across all the resistors is same so the equivalent resistance will be r is equals to 0.5 plus 0.3 plus 0.4 plus 0.5 plus 12 that is 13.4 ohms now using ohms law i is equals to v upon r putting in the values we get 0 0.678 amperes current so the current flowing across 12 ohm is 0 0.671 ampere tenth is how many 176 ohm resistance in parallel are required to carry 5a on 220 v line so let the number of resistors be x equivalent resistance of parallel combination given by r will be 1 upon r that is r will be 176 upon x now using ohm's law the number of resistors will be r is equals to v upon i substituting the values we get x is equals to 4 So the number of resistors required are 4. 11th show how you would connect 3 resistors each of resistance 6 ohms so that the combination has a resistance of first 9 ohms and second 4 ohms. So if we connect all the 3 resistors in series the equivalent resistance will be 6 plus 6 that is 18 ohm which is not the desired value because we want 9 similarly if we connect all the three resistors in parallel then their equivalent resistance would be 1 by 2 which is again not the desired value so let's take case 1 9 ohms you can see how we connected if two resistors are connected in parallel then the equivalent resistance is 6 uh, in parallel connection is 3 ohms then the third resistor which is connected in series will add in the 3 so we will get equivalent resistance r is equals to 3 plus 6 that is the 9 ohms case 2 4 ohms here is the circuit when two resistors are connected in series the equivalent resistance 
is given by 6 plus 6 that is 12 ohms and the third resistor which is connected in parallel with 12 ohms so now the equivalent resistance will be 4 ohms. Twelfth, several electric bulbs designed to be used on 220V electric supply line are rated 10 watts. How many lamps can be connected in parallel with each other across the two wires of 220 line if the maximum allowable current is 5 ampere? So each bulb is rated as power is 10 watts and voltage 220 volts. So the current will be I is equals to P upon V. Putting in the values we get current 1 by 22 ampere for each bulb. As the maximum allowable current is 5 ampere and all the bulbs are connected in parallel, hence the maximum number of bulbs joining in the parallel with each other will be 5 into 22 that is 110. 13. A hot plate of electric oven connected to 220 volt line has a resistance coil A, B, each of 24 ohms resistance which may be separately, may be used separately in series or in parallel. What are the current in three cases? Case 1 when the coil are used separately. Using ohms law the current flowing through each coil is I is equals to V upon R. So we know that V is 220 and resistance is 24. So putting in the value we get the current 9.166 ampere of current flows through each resistor when they are used separately. Case 2 when the coils are connected in series. Total resistance in series circuit will be 24 plus 24 that is 48 ohms. The current flowing through series circuit will be I is equals to V upon R putting in the values we get current 4.58 ampere. Similarly in the third case when the coils are connected in parallel total resistance in parallel will now be 12 ohms as you can see here. So putting in the values I will be 18.33 ampere. 14th, a com compare the power used in 2 ohms resistor in each of the following circuits. A 6V battery in series with 1 and 2 ohms resistors. And the second one is a 4V battery in parallel with 12 and 2 ohms resistors. So in the first case, the potential difference is 6V. 1 and 2 ohm resistors are connected in series so equivalent resistance will be 1 plus 2 that is 3 ohms. Now according to ohms law I is equals to V upon R putting in the values we get current 2 ampere. This current will flow through each component of the circuit because there is no division of current in series circuit. Hence the current flowing through 2 ohms resistor is 2A. The power in 2 ohms resistor will be P is equals to I square R putting in the values we get power 8 volts, watts. In second case potential difference is uh, 4V resistors are 12 and 2. So now the voltage across each component of the parallel circuit remains the same. Hence the voltage across 2 ohm resistor will also be 4V. Power consumed by 2 ohm resistors is given by P is equals to V square upon R. Putting in the values we get power is equals to 8 watts. So the power in both the cases remains the same that is 8 watt. 15th, 2 lamp one rated 100 watts and 20, at 20, 220V and the other 6, 60 watts at 220V are connected in parallel to electric main supply. What current is drawn from the line if the supply voltage is 220 volts? 
Now since both the lamps are connected in parallel, the voltage across each of the them will be same. So current drawn by the bulb of rating 10, 100 watts will be P is equals to V into I. So I is, is equals to P upon V. Putting in the values, we get current is equals to 100 upon 220 amperes. Similarly, current drawn by the bulb of rating 60 watt will be I is equals to 60 by 220 ampere. Therefore, the current drawn from the line is, we'll add both the currents, putting in the values, and we get 0.727 ampere. 16th, which uses more energy, a 250 watt TV set in 1 hour or 1200 watt toaster in 10 minutes. The answer is energy consumed by the electrical appliances is given by the equation H is equals to P into T where P is the power of the appliance and T is the time. So energy consumed by the TV will be H is equals to putting in the values we get for 1 hour we write 3600 seconds so 9 into 10 to the power 5 joules. Similarly energy consumed by the toaster will be putting in the values for 10 minutes 600 seconds so 7.2 into 10 to the power 5 joules so from the calculation it can be said that the energy consumed by tv is greater than that of the toaster 17th an electric heater of resistance 8 ohms draws 15 ampere current from the surface main 2 hours calculate the rate at which the heat is developed in the heater Answer is we know the resistance is 8 ohms and the current is 15 ampere. So the rate of heat produced by the heater is given by P is equals to I square into R. Now putting the values we get power is equals to 1800 watts. Now the electric heater produces heat at the rate of 800 watts. 18th, explain the following. Why is tungsten used almost exclusively for filament of electric lamps? Answer is, the resistivity and the melting point of tungsten is very high. Due to this property, it doesn't burn rapidly when heated. Electric lamps operate at high temperature. Hence, tungsten is a choice of metal for filament of electric lamps. Why are conductors of electric heaters devices such as bread toaster and electric iron made up of alloy rather than pure metals? Answer is the conductor of electric heating devices are alloys because of their high resistivity. Alloys have higher resistivity than pure metals due to which large amount of heat is produced when current is passed through it. See why is the series arrangement not used for domestic circuits? Answer is the series arrangement is not used for domestic circuit due to the following reasons. First reason is the overall voltage gets distributed in the series circuit. As a result, electric appliances may not get rated power, uh, required power for the operation. Second, all the connected appliances cannot be operated independently if one device is defected then the entire circuit will not function. Third, the total resistance become large. As a result, the current is reduced. D, how does the resistance of a wire vary with it, its area of cross-section? Answer is resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross-section. So when the area of cross-section increases, the resistance decreases and vice versa. E. Why copper and aluminium wires are usually employed for electricity transmission? Answer is copper and aluminium are good conductors of electricity and have low resistivity because of which they are usually employed for electrical transmission, electricity transmission. Due to low resistivity, the power loss in the form of heat is also significantly less when electricity is transmitted through them. Thanks for watching.
प्लीज़ डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब